on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. This is something I have to do alone. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Clementine. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! <coughs> Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you... I choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Fine. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets here. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Just some surgical supplies. I can't get my hands in between the doors. I think it's some sort of spreading device. Grosses me out just looking at it. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. I'll have these doors open in two seconds.
be alive? Shit. This is bad. Fuck! Help me move it. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. I'm awake! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. By chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. It was easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. You got that? <laughs> Try to stay still! <laughs> I know! be able to travel. You lost some blood. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on it.
Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Maybe we can wait for an opening. We could be waiting a long time. Still, Lee's right, and that we gotta pick our time and go. Anybody know how far and in what direction the mansion is? We probably ought to start there. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. And it wasn't my favorite hand anyway. Well, you haven't lost your spirit. Seriously, though. Don't treat me any different. I got one goal, you hear me? Yeah. We do. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. Hospital must have run out of doctors. Looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. She walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. Buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep.
Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? Coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! Far, just a little hop. <sighs> Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof! Holy... What the fuck? Come on! Just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck! How could this happen? It's a guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem. They're gone! Holy shit, they're gone. Relax. Hey guys? No, it wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions, uh, contradict your characterization. But, yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never find them. Fuck them. Cancer, no cancer. Saint Sinner, who gives a shit? The people who knew what they were doing. Yeah, screwing us! He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two, you know... Yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. That wasn't the last boat in America. The idea was sound before, and it's sound now. The mainland is done. 
and we have no idea what else is out there. I don't want to get us all killed on some impossible mission. It'll be better than getting eaten alone. Out there. At least Lee's thinking. You're goddamn right, we get another boat. But not here. Aren't we all missing the point right now? Clementine is the goal. That's it. Damn right. Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny! Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Omi! What is it? Front doors! Ah! <laughs> Gotta be a knife or something in there. Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! Get to the end of the hallway. This will slow him down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. We can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third. Industrial... Need? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. I'm okay. I'm Lily Parent. No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah. Yet. 
We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it. We can't panic. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. Oh, I'm really glad I got you looking out for me, for Clem. This is just fucking great. Relax, Lee. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months... This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah. We can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. Uh, and when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. The world's got enough evil in it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. <laughs> I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to me. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hun. You can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh. 
That, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently, chap. So no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. <laughs> this guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who, I should say, was built like a brick shithouse. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. No, he did not. We did, though. I'm sorry for hurting you in way, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. <sighs> I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. You did everything you could. No, Lee. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. What do you call this thing? Art? Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go.
Let's keep going. Be careful up here. You haven't learned to climb yet, right? Good to be moving. You're doing good. I'm not, but I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Cat and I laid in that broke down RV? And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful, cross here. River Street's just up ahead. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. I don't see any down there. You can hear them, right? We're all desensitized to it, but I can still smell them. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> Fucking sorry. You know what that thing means to finding her? We know where she is. For now. Guys. Doc, I am sorry. Whatever, man. Ah, oh, fuck it. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Grab onto this! We'll pull you up! Good. Thanks. Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. What are you doing? Get her, Ken! Fit all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach! I got you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! Do you fucking hear me? Maybe the man's all right. Maybe you'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He...
Marshal's hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. He could be tough to like, but I agreed with him most of the time. So, we were assholes together, I guess. This is a shitty time. I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. What's going on with you? I don't know what you mean. I mean you know why Kenny did that, right? I was in trouble. Sure. You have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. And you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. The decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town. By the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there.
I got us adjoining rooms. I'm gonna kill you. I have a gun. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. Do for the you... taking? Do you know what you took from me? Don't you start on who took what from who. I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. You fucked up. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. She deserved it. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. Starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this?
You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey, I think this is all gonna work out. What are you? I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> would have come back. That's right, sweet pea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Your arm's gone. Why? So scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Clementine, we don't have much time. Okay. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay, sweetie. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk. Okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Which way out? Through there. Jesus. Don't look in there. 
No, I know. Savannah. Get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. <laughs> Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. <laughs> there. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. And walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Wake up! Please don't be dead! Please, no! Free! I, I was so scared! I, I, I thought you left me! I... I... I saw my parents! I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. But we got away. They're dead, for sure. We have 
got to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! See? Clementine, honey. My arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. That's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shut that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. There's a chair over there. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Probably to that door. 
everything you need. Uh, handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with him now. He's trapped over there. Hope you're careful. You can get what you need from him. The keys. And then the gun. Yeah. The keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? You're so close. Just get them both. I'll try. Run, Clem. Grab it! Watch out! Strong, Clip. You, you can do anything. But I'm little. That mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but it's okay. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you. Please, please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's for your safety, Claire. If you don't get out in time. But I can wait until then. No, honey. You can't. You can't risk it. It, it is. It is like Larry, huh? I know you did it to protect me. Yes. You just have to do it. It'll be okay. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I, I can. Find Omid and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? Yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. 
Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry. All right. Oh, it's you. Me too.